The Morency Wildcats hosted the Gilbert Christian Knights in the quarterfinals of the state 2A football playoffs on Friday, and we've got all the highlights fit to view, so let's get it on. This highlight video is sponsored in part by Optimal Health Systems. Optimal Health Systems in Pima is the original whole food supplement company with its high potency whole food formulas absorbable at the cellular level. Come in to OHS today and try our blend of supplements that thousands of doctors and athletes have used for decades. Gilbert Christian's Matthew Hershey came out throwing and on third and five hit Caleb Powell for the first. Morency's Caden Summer forces a fumble, but the ball goes out of bounds and the Knights are in Wildcats territory. Then on third and 19, the pair hooked up again as Hershey drops back and lets one fly and Powell just goes up and gets it for a 28-yard gain and the first down. However, on the very next play, Hershey throws backward, but Dylan Sharkey can't handle the lateral. Summer is there to hop on the loose ball for Morency, and the Wildcats score the turnover. The Wildcats started already in Knights territory, and were knocking on the door of the red zone after this 19-yard pickup by Michael Casillas. Another Casillas run right up the gut gave the Wildcats a first and goal from the nine. On third and goal from the one, quarterback Dalen Johnson fakes the inside handoff and rolls out to the left into the end zone untouched. A fake extra point attempt was thwarted, but Morency was up early, six to nothing. Near the end of the first quarter, Sharkey goes in motion and Hershey hits him in stride as Sharkey swims down the left sideline all the way until he fumbles out of bounds at the 35. Kai knows Hawaiian Grill is the spot in Thatcher to enjoy healthy Hawaiian food with a friendly atmosphere and great service. Order in person or by the phone or online to see the tasty treat everyone is talking about. That's Kainoa's Hawaiian Grill. At the start of the second quarter, Hershey can't find anyone open and tries to make a run for it, but he's tracked down by Patrick Chavez for no gain. Gilbert then elected to attempt a 30-yard field goal, but Brandon Enriquez blocks the kick to turn the ball back over to the Wildcats with a long field in front of them. On the very next play, Johnson pitches to Derek Sains, and he could go almost all the way as Sainz races down the sideline 35 yards into Knight's territory. Then it's Casillas again, who breaks a tackle and zips downfield for 15 yards to set up the Wildcats in the red zone. Casillas then finished the drive with a three-yard scamper for the TD. Morency went for two, and as Johnson rolls out to his left, there's tons of green grass in front of him. A defender appears, but Johnson hits the B button and spins into the end zone to put Morency up 14-0 late in the second quarter. With time running out in the half, Hershey does a touch pass to Eligio Ledesma, who makes a cut, and he's off to the races. He's at the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. He's going to score, but Casillas runs him down at the three-yard line to save the touchdown. Morency's defense held its ground, and a touch pass to Sharkey was stopped by Jericho Sanchez and Gavin Baca. Gilbert tried another shot in the end zone on third and goal, but Tony Royball was there to break it up. The Knights then attempted a 33-yard field goal, but Hershey can't handle a snap, and Morency heads into the halftime break up 14 to nothing. With amenities designed to keep patients comfortable and relaxed, Copper Hills Dental is your choice for anxiety-free dentistry. Visit our website and Facebook page, or simply call 428-2750 to schedule your appointment today. That's Copper Hills Dental. To open the third quarter, the Knights attempt an onside kick, and Enriquez just gets blown up just as the ball gets to him. And the ball is still loose. It's bouncing around, and now players are diving into a pile. Morency says they've got it. Gilbert Christian says they've got it. Oh, it's time to pull the players off the pile. And Enriquez somehow dove back into the scrum and gathered the ball after all. Morency was knocking on the red zone when penalties pushed them back, and then Johnson was sacked for a loss, and Morency ended up turning the ball over on downs for their only turnover of the night. The Knights used the momentum to help convert a third and 12, as Hershey drops back deep and hits Caden Hind for a 32-yard pickup into Wildcats territory. Hershey then capitalized on the turnover with a 9-yard TD run for the score. Gilbert went for two, and Ledesma dove across the goal line to bring the Knights within a score 8-14. Morency continued to have success running the ball, and Johnson decides to get in on the act and keeps it down the left sideline for 20 yards into Knight's territory. Roadrunner Rehab has been helping Gila Valley residents and athletes achieve their peak performance for over 30 years. They are now offering occupational therapy and adult speech therapy to assist in all your rehabilitation needs. Whether they're getting you back to work or back on the field, they're here to help you. In the fourth quarter, Casillas gave the Wildcats some breathing room with a two-yard touchdown plunge and followed that up with a two-point conversion to put Morency up 22-8. 
The knights continued to fight, however, and Hershey uncorks a deep one while being hit, and somehow Hine comes down with it for a huge pickup for Gilbert Christian. Hershey then hit Powell for a 15-yard pickup and add 15 more yards as Summer is called for an illegal horse collar tackle. Hershey then punched it in from one yard out on third and goal, and Hine takes the pitch on the two-point conversion and just makes it to the corner to bring Gilbert back to within one score, 16-22. to Ooh, but wait, there's a flag on the play against Gilbert, so the Knights are backed up and elect to kick the extra point instead to be down 15-22. to after the near success of the last onside attempt, Gilbert went for it again, but this time Sane snags it cleanly at the 48, and there's nothing but green grass in front of him as Sane revitalizes his team in one quick comeback play after a Gilbert score to put Morency up 29-15 with just six minutes and two seconds left in the game. The Knights never quit though, and on third and 10, Hershey converts again on a long pass to Sam Webb and add 15 more yards for a face mask call, even though Summer had him by the shoulder pads, but it looked like a penalty, so I get the call. Tough break for Morenzi. Hershey then hooked up with Hine to give the Knights a first and goal from the four. Hershey's gonna try and take it in from there, and at first Morenzi's got him stopped short, but there's no whistle, and a second effort brings Hershey across the line. Ledesma then takes the handoff for the two-point conversion, and Gilbert slides right back into it, 23-29, with just under four minutes left to play. On third and three with the Wildcats just past midfield, the Knights need a stop to stay in the game, but Casillas gets the pitch, and Chavez occupies Hershey for just enough time for Casillas to make the corner. The speedy sophomore turns upfield and goes 28 yards to move the chains at an important point of the game. Casillas then finished off the possession and the Knights with a one-yard plunge to help lift the Wildcats into the 2A state semifinals with a 35-23 victory. Morency will now face number one seed Parker at Desert Vista High School on Saturday. Whether you need regular pest control or have bigger problems including termites or bed bugs, Rattlesnake Exterminating is your one call to handle them all. Killer bees threatening your family? Then give Rattlesnake Exterminating a call at 485-8904. You know, we're just super proud of our, our boys for getting after it today. You know, <clears throat> they took the challenge head on and couldn't be prouder of their efforts. You know, they, uh, they all came to play hard, and they all played hard and played with courage today. And again, couldn't be prouder of how they got after it today. Well, our, our offensive line, they work hard in practice. You know, they take, they take their assignments very serious, and, and we opened those holes up, and, and we got a great back that runs, runs the ball real well. And um, our, out, our wide receivers do a great job blocking as well. They've run great routes. You know, uh, we just missed a couple of big passes today that could have popped it open too. So I feel like we, we, we can we can do both and get you with both. But our, our run blocking is outstanding and we, we run the ball real well and we hope to, to keep improving each week. Well, Parker's a tough team. You know, you don't get the number one seed for being a slouch and, and Parker's tough. They got some big, big hosses over there and, and we're gonna put in a good week of practice and, and we hope to be up for the challenge. Just super proud of my guys. And my coaching staff, they did an outstanding job. You know, it's a total team win, and we, we sure appreciate the efforts that these young men put in uh, day in and day out. Reporting from Marenzi for the Gila Herald, I'm John Johnson.